right, guys. It's another day. We're getting back at it. Headed up to Mount Rose. Uh, I widened the stance on my snowboard last night. We're also going to bring along my old pair of unions. Looks like Rose added a couple new features to their park. It's probably going to have to be hiking it. So we're going to bring backpack, a couple other things, maybe some snacks, and uh, we're going to get after it. All right, so you guys maybe can already tell we're not on the GoPro today. We're on the big camera, big mic, so the audio is probably a bit better. Video, we'll see. We already have coffee for the day, which is nice, so no stopping at the store. All right, so we're on our way. So a few weeks ago when I was making the intro for the vlogs and just kind of snowboard stuff in general, I stumbled across some old footage of me riding from probably a few years ago. And every year, my whole goal is just not to lose tricks. Obviously, riding powder is one thing, uh, but through the park, as long as I can go through each year and not lose a trick that I've been doing for years, I count that season as a win. I'm by no means pro, aiming for going pro. I work a full-time job, so it's not really the goal of mine is to you know, stack up clips and learn new tricks every single weekend. But realizing that this last year, I actually, there's some tricks that I just haven't done. So today is gonna be more of a figuring out the board and also trying to relearn some tricks because I figure the best way to get comfortable with a new board is to get uncomfortable trying some things that you haven't done in a while. You know, get yourself in some weird situations and see where it takes you. So I'm kind of calling today the uh, redemption day. So uh, we're gonna try and get as many tricks as we can. The Rose has a pretty small park right now, from what I've heard. It's got a small little flat down, looks like a flat bar, and then also a regular just box. So we're gonna try and uh, see if we can get multiple tricks on each one and see where it goes from there. Also, it looks like Boreal opened up this weekend, so it shouldn't be as crowded as it was last weekend, which should be nice. Uh, we'll see though, it is a Sunday. Uh, but we'll have to get there, check it out, and see what happens. I didn't film the first three laps of the park. I rode through, tried out the new bindings, didn't like them, so I switched out to the unions. Felt so much better. Stance widened out, felt great. Yeah, so like that's where we start filming. All the footage comes from after I switched out my bindings and we're riding on the old bindings that I'm used to. So we got old bindings, new board. Spencer hiking back up the hill. The ski that he has on, the brake broke off the binding, so he had to figure out a way to try and get back up the hill. So he didn't have to finagle his brake while he was putting his skis on.
Yo, what's up guys? We got done riding, a uh, good day. Took it pretty mellow. Just trying to get some tricks back, as I mentioned earlier. I'm not sure how much of the footage actually got captured. I noticed that uh, the camera was cutting out a bit. I forgot the GoPro batteries in my backpack in the truck. And I didn't really feel like walking back to go get them. So we're stuck with just the big camera on the kind of, you know, medium range lens. So we'll have to see how much we actually got. I was just pumped. Uh, moving my stance out helped a whole bunch with presses, which was sick. Nose and tail presses were fine on boxes. I had the tail press on the rail, which is cool. I, for some reason, wussed out on all of the nose presses on the box, which was a pain. Uh, got back board slide, which is mellow. I uh, got my front board, which is awesome. I got that one first try. I went to fakie on accident, which was crazy, but somehow managed to pull that one out. Hopefully we got that one. Uh, I'm gonna have to go home and check out and see how much actually got filmed. And then uh, we'll talk about it probably a little bit later. But yeah, not bad for the first day riding a decent, a, a better part than I had last time with a better stance. But yeah, so we'll just check it back in later once I review some of the footage. All right, guys. So uh, I just reviewed a lot of the footage. Um, Turns out a bunch of stuff got skipped. I didn't realize it with this camera, it'll shoot for 10 minutes straight and then it just cuts out as soon as it's done after that. In that, you kind of saw, I kind of struggled through the 270 out. Got a couple, you can kind of see where one of them landed super nose heavy. Also kind of landed one just completely 180 out, landing completely flat. That was kind of rough. And then I also had that mental struggle, getting that nose pressed through. It was a good, dope day. Another day riding with Spencer. I'll show his clips are kind of strung in there as well. He's trying a bunch of switch tricks. So coming out, switch off the rail and then hitting switch onto the box. And he started going switch onto the rail, which is also sick. He was trying 270s off of the box after coming out and switch. What you guys didn't see from the footage is there's actually, uh, there was three features there. So they had a flat down box, the down rail, and then just the flat box at the end. I didn't include the flat down box because I rode it a couple times, it took about three laps and there just wasn't enough speed to hit the flat down box and also hit the rail with enough speed to make it to the very end. And also the flat down box had a really crazy lip that was almost like a launch on lip, but then also ride on down below. So it was kind of, it was just an odd one. But yeah, so day two riding at, at Mount Rose, hike in the park and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and uh, peace, guys.